welcome back to the Goose Podcast. <laughs> uh, welcome back. Uh, We're listening to McNasty, the Deuce Soup and Blog Hound. We're in a Goon Podcast. You're listening to 42069 Radio. You're listening to Goon. <laughs> this ain't your grandma's <laughs> radio station. Radio. You're listening to <laughs> .gov. Look at this photograph. Hi. Hi. Welcome back. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I like how we ended that with look at this photograph. <laughs> Not even a meme. Uh, thanks so for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Soup, do the outro. How's, how's, how's everybody doing? Grand. You see that like we went in the call for an hour and a half? I haven't talked yeah, to you guys in a while. we just played Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, we just made sweet love in a bed. Mm, we did. In the middle of an alleyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Big goon sex. Little goons orgy. Goon sex. What in the Sam hell are we going to talk about today, fellas? Anybody uh, got anything, got anything new about? before we just evolve into chaos? I went to a vintage show. Oh my uh, god! How was that? Boop, 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 I got boop. to I got to meet some of the boys from Vended. They were really cool. Uh, I saw Vended, Dying Wish, Loathe, and Code Orange. Yeah, that's a cool ass tour. It was an amazing show. Every band literally kicked fucking ass. It was so good. Uh, Did something- anyone die in the pit, dude? There was some wild right. shit that happened. So, obviously, the pit was fucking intense as fuck. Uh, a lot of people there, kind of, well, not a lot of people, but there were a few people there that like recognized me and wanted a photo and shit. And one of the dudes said he broke his fucking rib. He like came up to me and was like, dude, I broke my rib. And then kind of just like walked away into the masses. And I was like, <laughs> okay. all right, well... <laughs> What, what do you expect you to do about that? I guess make a McRib or something. I don't know. <laughs> Please help. And uh, there's a balcony in the in this venue in Atlanta that I saw, man. Um, and the balcony is probably like 20 or 25 feet up. And somebody... Did JJ climb it? No, but somebody fucking jumped what? off of this balcony onto oh, the concrete no. floor. Oh, Dude. nobody caught them? No. Are I, they still in this world? It was like five feet in front of me, dude, and I I thought that they died. <laughs> I it what the hell? Dude, it happened so fast, and I just so happened to be like looking directly in front of me, and I just see a body. It's like just what fucking f- a body flying <laughs> by. Like and somebody he hit spawned the, one in G mod, dude. Literally, he <laughs> fucking no clipped into the fucking ground, dude. It, <laughs> he was down for a minute, dude, and people were like surrounding him, like holy shit. I I actually thought he died. I was expecting people to like have to wheel him out of there. Was he? Get- <laughs> Cracked out of his mind or something? I don't was know, he, dude. What what happened? Did he like? Did something? He got he, up. It was was there any clothes? He just got up and kept vibing. Uh, yeah, after after a minute, like he he was on the <laughs> ground for a while, dude. I I know it, the next morning he was probably like wheelchair bound, bro. <laughs> wow, that is that's something. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah, I just don't think I've ever been at a show and I've been like, damn, this music is so good. I'm gonna attempt suicide live. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I could throw yeah. myself off a balcony right about now. I really thought... Apparently, somebody said his friend was supposed to catch him. I thought he fucking died, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, if he's at, like, 25 feet, and this is, like, assuming, like, a 200-pound human being, his friend's not going to be able to catch mm-hmm. him very well. Like, that's yeah, not... Yeah, Screw that. Yeah. I'm glad yeah, no I'm one good. was standing underneath him. I don't know how he didn't land on anybody, dude. It, I mean... The, cr- the crowd, I mean, the place was pretty packed, so I don't know how the fuck he didn't land on Was this just, like, mid-song? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even know what to do if I was performing and I just saw somebody just fall to their death. Like, do you just Travis Scott it and pretend you didn't see nothing, or do you, like, hey, guys, is that man still breathing? I what don't do think do? anybody anybody except, like, in the area that I was in saw it because... Even noticed, it, yeah. It happened so fast, dude. Like, I mean, just, yeah, he probably hit, like, terminal velocity. He was probably <laughs> ripping. <laughs> so fast. That's actually fucking insane. Well, that's, yeah. uh... That's, that's, that's wild, my boy. for everybody but him. Mm-hmm. How was, the show was good, though? Did yeah, it, it well? was really good. Yeah, it was fucking awesome. I moshed. Which yeah. was a lot of fun. I was really yeah. scared because it shows like that people are fucking moshing. Dude, it is yeah, it's like, fucked. There's like, some definitely just, some hate moshing there. Yeah. You mean the show where people fucking... are trying to commit suicide? The mosh might be a little wild. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking the drummer for Lamb of God was there. He 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 fucking scared the shit out of me, dude. Why? He, what? Like, what did he uh, do? We were standing by the merch table 
and <laughs> uh, I think it was JJ was like, oh, guys, uh, the drummer for Lamb of God is here tonight, actually. And he must have been waiting on somebody to say that because he sp- like busted out of the backstage area and <laughs> fucking grabbed me. Like, grabbed me on my shoulder or something. It scared the shit out of me. I thought it was security. Like, I... I I thought I did something wrong. Just assaulted and he's somebody? standing there and just gets fucking attacked. He fucking, Why? he busts out, he runs up, grabs me, he's like, where is he? Where's the drummer for Lamb of God? Or some shit like that. And I was like, holy fuck. I mean, that's yeah. pretty sick, though. If I'm gonna yeah. get spooked mm-hmm. by somebody, that's, they're probably on the list. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll definitely never forget that that happened ever. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking wild. Yeah. <laughs> was he just like a fan of the bands there, or just happened to be there? Uh, is he from that city, or? I'm not too sure. I mean, I know that he knows about all those bands, but yeah, oh. yeah. I guess he was just stopping in to see what it, what was up. That's pretty fucking cool that somebody cool in like that notable of a band, also that large of a band, is just going to like relatively small shows. Still, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was really, really fucking cool. Ah, well, I'm glad the concert went well, and that man didn't end up in the house of the Lord. He may be in a wheelchair <laughs> yeah, forever, but yeah, he might have permanent, irreversible brain damage and. Have dementia by the age of twenty-seven, but that's all right. But damn, did he not look cool when he did it, though? Worth, baby, <laughs> worth for but all seven people that saw him. <laughs> somebody that's not him got a story about it on the podcast, so it's okay. <laughs> but he it's left all a worth skid it. mark on history. It's all that matters. <laughs> well, anyone else have anything exciting? I don't know why I'm asking, as if anyone else does anything. <laughs> I have things that I can't You're talk right. about yet. Okay. Oh my god. What do you mean? Oh my God! What's what? Oh What's the matter? my God! You gotta talk oh. about everything. Oh, do you? Do you? Oh, have, maybe you have something God. that you can't talk about too. Maybe yeah, that involves hot and music. Okay, hot and readies. Yeah, don't ever try to talk about hot and readies again. We're not doing yeah. it. I will fuck your ass with a blade. Basically, you lost and you're mad, McNasty. I didn't. I got a lot of people lost. agreeing with me. Was about 50, Here we 50. go. Here we you go. You lost. <laughs> Look. Yeah, even the, the even section, the poll. Even the poll on the goons Twitter was 50-50. So you lost. So I'm, I'm not right, but so I'm not wrong. So you're retarded as half the population. Uh, well, yeah. Well, basically, guess, yeah. your your thesis was that everyone will agree with you, and clearly he that did was say wrong. that. So I did. I accept that uh, a, a lot of people don't agree with me, and that's something that's just... your titties fucked, liberal. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> anyway, all in all, it ended up being an amazing. Meme. It did. It was, oh, we it changed the name of the podcast because of it. And, and, <laughs> yeah. Not the name of the podcast, the, the, the episode. Yeah, we changed from the, the Goons to the Hot and Ready Podcast. We changed from the Hot and Ready Podcast. Over one fucking joke. Over my dead bodies at the Hot and Ready We have to create podcast. like a whole, we have to go through the documents for like making the business all over again. <laughs> Just abolish the LLC and start a new one. Have to go to court with Little Caesars to get that. Get sued. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. so fucking stupid. I saw some people saying that that should be animated, and I fully agree. So, like that whole yes, just conversation is golden. It's hilarious, <laughs> and I'm glad. I that also happened. love how many people genuinely felt bad for McNasty and were like, "Oh yeah, let's they're talk bullying about that. him. Yeah, the yeah, bullying the- is unhinged." McNasty, like, bro, it's literally you. McNasty. He's a 30-year-old man. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna yeah. be okay. Yeah. Thanks. I'm glad you guys want to stick up for you know the sped kid, but he, we weren't bullying. <laughs> 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 he does not need to be stood up for. Yeah. I think I'm it's s- funny how how serious everyone. <laughs> well, not everyone, but a lot of people take. Like the shit we talk like, about. Literally like literally anything yeah, we say. When we get like in a serious <laughs> banter, people really think we're just like. Like, oh, the goons are falling apart. Dude, their <laughs> friends must fucking suck. If they can't have, like, an hour-long debate about Little Caesar's pizza. naming of their pizza, like, and they actually get mad, like, that's not fun. You need Your new friends. Your friends are lame. Yeah. Like, if your squad isn't discussing the complexities of hot and ready pizzas. <laughs> somebody, somebody commented, uh, I think it might have been on Twitter or something, but they said that they went into Little Caesar's one time to order a pizza, and the mom, his mom was... Assuming he was gonna go in and get the hot and ready, he would just instantly. And he went and ordered a sausage pizza and sat there for about twenty minutes. 
And his mom, like, beat him when he got back to the car. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> he was supposed to go in and get the fast pizza, and he went and ordered the pizza. Were you the so mom? Be- because is this your, your origin pizza story? took 15 minutes longer, <laughs> you just beat the living fuck out of this kid for no uh-huh. good reason. McNasty, yeah. if, if that was you, you could just say that. That's, <laughs> no, that sounds like more of a problem me. with the mom than the pizza, <laughs> I, I would argue. That's, yeah, but uh, anyways. Wow. Yeah. I don't... Now I'm sad. You shouldn't have shared that with me. <laughs> Well, he said that anytime after that, he calls a hot and ready now, so... I didn't realize the importance after, of after getting this right After his mom right ruthlessly now. beat him. Yeah. It, it, is, it is important. I mean, it's it's more about just being, like... It's more about being specific in situations, you so know? so fucking stupid. It is important. Like, if you go to a steakhouse and they have ten different kinds of steaks, you don't go, give me steak. They're gonna be like, okay, we have ten different kinds of fucking steaks, what do you want? Well, speak for yourself. You gotta be, if you're specific, you know, give me a fucking prime rib or something, they're gonna give you a prime rib. Yeah. It's not a steak. Shut up. Rib McNasty, I'm going to extend the pepperoni branch of peace to you, my friend. <laughs> what the I'm fuck does that mean? Yourself. What? <laughs> pepperoni <laughs> branch of peace? No, he's trying you to know, say like the, the olive branch, you extend but... And, yeah. <laughs> trying, I've never heard that in my life. It basically, Maybe. it means uh, uh, let bygones be bygones. Yeah. Have uh, you heard that one? That basically yeah, means. I don't let understand. It be. What is a bygone? <laughs> nah, I call it let. I still call it let hot and readies be hot and readies. No, then I I rescind. <laughs> I take it back. And your phrasing is wrong. Mine's right. Fuck you. Shut up. I don't, I don't like today. Player. <laughs> Blarg, you had okay. any more weird dreams? Uh, you know what? I actually haven't. I've literally had nothing going on in the brain that's been memorable whatsoever. If you could be an animal, which animal would you be? Squirrel, um, spaghetti, rectangle. lobster, meat, <laughs> bouillon cube. Wow, we're really at, would you we're guys, really already out of stuff, huh? Would you guys <laughs> rather like have fifteen minutes? All right, would you guys rather Not have even. a ten minute conversation with your future self or your past Not self? Not this again. Did we do this oh, already? Oh, okay. No, what? I didn't think that was. I know. I thought that was gonna be deep fried. I remember one episode. Actually, we're playing Halo. And we're just doing. Would you rather that we're like fucked? Oh no! Like yeah. a, or would a you rather lose a leg? The N word tattooed on their head. <laughs> 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 no, but like if you could, that was a good video. <laughs> that was a good video. If you could learn from your future self, basically, or teach your past self something, what would you rather do? Uh, probably. Wait, probably future, maybe, because then you could just like cheat the lottery or something. Like, I don't really feel like I need any like deeper talks with my past self about life. Yeah, I feel, I feel like, like if I went. You go, you go ahead. You go ahead. Nah, you go ahead, motherfucker. All right, baby. All right, baby yeah. thing. Baby, okay. Uh, if, I feel like if I went to my past self and tried to give myself advice, I wouldn't be ever become a YouTuber. I feel like I'd just be... You would ignore it and sleep through it. <laughs> hey, I go uh, back to my past self and I'm just sleeping on a mattress. I'm trying to wake myself up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, fuck off. You only off. have 10 minutes. Wake up. <laughs> no, but yeah. um, I, I had a pretty weird, like upbringing just from being like just being me no way and the reason like <laughs> that that brought me to being a youtuber like if i would have d- gone the normal route of being like not lazy and did high school and like college and stuff i'd probably be working in like an it department right well, now that's not true if it was always there that you wanted to do it then you probably yeah but i mean i both. i had the t- i had the I time did, just did both um, i had the time and free rent living with my parents to be able to yeah that. that's true yeah, free rent is definitely a big one. I would have been in IT. I would have been working 12 hours a fucking day. Yeah, so. all right. That's, that's yeah. fair. I feel like I'm happy enough where I'm at now that I don't think I need to change the past. I would definitely yeah. look into the future. Same. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I mean, future, you could just, like, you could just cheat life. You could just be like, hey, your grandma can get hit by a car on this day, so make sure she got good life insurance. Kind of why vibe. would you change? Ah, there it is. Don't, yeah, not, yeah, don't yeah, change yeah. what happens. No. Yeah. No, you, no, you're not, yeah. Hey, you no think way. it's smart, my boy. No way I'm yeah. telling an 86-year-old woman to move out of the way of a car. <laughs> I would, I would ask the, my future self, like, what's the price of Bitcoin, like, 10 years in the Ooh, future or some shit? yeah. Or, like, some, sell. like... Yeah. Yeah, like, what, what's, uh, what's the price? Like, what's the price of this, uh, like, penny Doge. worth uh, crypto? <laughs> I mean, just, yeah, yeah I, that's I, what I would do. I, all of this is just leading us to how to get more wealth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody had a wholesome answer deep. like, do I get no. married? <laughs> I mean, you got to figure that shit out for yourself. I feel like if you like cheat yeah. stuff like that, it'll just. Yeah, true. I don't know. Yeah, you're going to alter the universe. And then, it, you, like, you know, 
if you think too much on it, like if you're 10 years in the future and it's like, yeah, you got like a wife and it's a, an amazing marriage and then you're going to go back and be like, oh, I hope I don't fuck anything up and you're going to like overthink it and then you're going to alter Yeah, and then you're going to fuck future. something up because you're thinking about fucking something up. Yep. Whoa. I don't know. I feel like that's just part of the life experience though is like, you know, ups and downs. I would want to know, I would want to know how YouTube turns out. I mean, I, again, I wouldn't really care because then I'd be like worried all the time of like, I have three more days to milk it. Like, bro, just why would you want that stress all the time? Just me when mom's tit milk is running low. I'm saying if like, it'd be cool if he gave me advice about like how to prevent like failure from happening, I guess. It's Uh, like, hey, you should do this and that. and Okay, that that makes sense. But uh, again, I feel like that's part of the whole whole life experience of just learning shit. (laughs) Oh, man. That's... No, <laughs> big sneeze. So that's a reply to that. Bless you, boy. Bless what, you. What happened there? Bless you there? now. Bless you now. Did everyone just forget what we were talking about? When <gasps> a sneeze just reset the Goons podcast? <laughs> yeah, welcome back to the Goons podcast. <laughs> <Just restart it. laughs> I had I a weird what dream. The fuck that was. What was your weird dream? No, you didn't. Why? I don't believe you. I did. I did. I I kind of copied you, Blarg, because I wanted. I, I feel like I don't have dreams very often but when i do they're they're usually kind of fucked and weird yeah also you forget them if you don't write them down because like a bunch yep. of the times i'll wake up in the middle of the night and i'll be like i'll oh, remember that and then there'll yeah. be times where i don't write it down and i'm like i don't remember anything i just remember that there was something stupid yeah uh my, my dream was that i was in china oh. and uh <laughs> ah, yes classic uh the end okay <laughs> Uh, no, the, the the government was killing people that went to grocery stores. Realistic. That like, is kind of uh, just China. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's not even like a... Are you sure you weren't watching the news? <laughs> yeah, that's just lore. That's just China lore. <laughs> For some reason, it was like to, to control the population, they ah. killed people that went into grocery stores <laughs> randomly. Like, Why grocery some, stores? I don't know, dude. Like some guy would just be shopping for like fucking bologna and then like, I don't think they eat bologna. Like these men <laughs> wearing all I black and like fucking have on like balaclavas would just come out of the like butcher shop and just snatch them away and take them to a back alley and kill them. <laughs> what? And like, really was it just random? Like, did everybody everybody knew about it and was just like, "Yep, yeah, maybe today's the day I get shot by the the man." No, I think that I think what was weird about it was, well, besides all of that shit, was that I was the only <laughs> one that like saw it happen, and so I had to like they they well, had somehow the burden on your shoulders for knowing yeah, that they, information. They somehow hid it from everyone that this was happening from the and people, billions of people there <laughs> and people couldn't like they had like trap doors in the floors that like, you'd be walking <laughs> down an aisle like do 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 and you just fall through this the floor and you die but uh yeah like <laughs> It's like it's- somehow I, I caught them in the act of doing it when I was in the grocery store oh, and no. and like they they knew that I knew and I had to like escape China Good, <laughs> buddy. A honky in a Metallica hat <laughs> <laughs> Take that, government. Yeah, that was my my weird dream. That, that is, is a very, very fucking bizarre. bizarre dream. Yes. Why? That always makes me think, like, because I I often dream about like what I was just talking about that night, or like what I was watching. Were you watching like Chinese propaganda? <laughs> yeah. What? Before you went to well, bed. <laughs> dude, I don't know. I've been watching some weird movies lately. Like, do you guys ever go on Prime Video? Yeah. No. no. Dude, my favorite they, I have it, but it. I never I never go on there. They have some fucking scuffed ass movies on there. Oh, absolutely. Mm. I can imagine. I, I, wa- I watched uh, Llama Geddon. <laughs> what? Is that a giant llama? <laughs> dude, like Sharknado. Dude, I, I couldn't get through the whole movie because, it, it, dude, they're so bad. It looks like a bunch of like fucking college students slash like high schoolers got together. And tried to make a movie with a budget of like two dollars. <laughs> That's probably exactly what it was. <laughs> yeah, it was about like a llama that came from space and had laser eyes and was like going around killing people. <laughs> this story is more bizarre than your dream, which is weird. Yeah, what? And that? And they yeah. made it into a film. It's yeah. a movie. <laughs> it, it is a fucking movie. Um, and it it was in my fucking like recommended, I guess, on on, on Prime Video. <laughs> Have you guys ever watched? Why? I was I was hoping Go it would have just dude. been the movie Armageddon, by with uh, whatever his name is, with, but just lo- like superimposed like PNGs of llama heads on everybody. Have you guys dude, ever watched so uh, Gay Inwards from Outer Space? Yeah, no. yeah. I've never watched it, but I'm very familiar with the 
It's <laughs> it's work. it's really good. It's really good. <laughs> it, it's, I feel like you're lying to me. It, no, does my tone indicate sarcasm? It's really good. <laughs> a lot, actually. <laughs> like, extreme amounts of it. What Did you actually try to watch? The plot? Oh, I watched it with my brother. Yeah, I watched the whole thing. It's only like 30, 40 minutes. It's short. It's basically, it's like... I can't imagine why. they, they Of course, get like the month. <laughs> like the month, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was it was for Black History Month. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, can't yeah. give them a whole fucking movie. Yeah. It's <laughs> basically, it's like five or six black dudes who are from outer space. They're humanoid aliens, so they look like us, but they're not us. And they have names like Private Ass and Sergeant Dick and stuff like that. And uh, mm. they have I think this we did like, a war zone joke with that. Um, oh yeah, Corporal uh, Anus or whatever. Corporal but, Anus. But they have this private part. They have this like god in the back of their ship, and it's like a giant butthole. And they reach into the butthole with their fist to like commune with it. And uh, basically, their mission the is to come to Earth and eradicate all women. Very noble cause. Eradicate oh, all women. <laughs> And 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 turn all like the, the Supreme remaining. Court. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, don't turn something fun into something real. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, to turn all living straight men into homosexuals, and it's a gay utopia. And that's mm. that's that's the that's the main arc of the story. It's really good. Do they succeed? Yep, they succeed. I don't mean to spoil it. I you know I don't. It's so good, bro. I was about to watch. It was on my watch next list. I haven't got to it from 1998 or wherever the fuck it's from. I'm so sorry, but, uh... Can you imagine being the fucking white film producer that had to go pitch that to three black guys and be like, Hey, y'all willing to be... Y'all willing to be the gay, uh, from out of space? I, I, I looked it up because I was so intrigued by it. Apparently they are all gay in real life. It's like an all-gay cast, so... Really? Yeah. So they're about it. Based. They're based. They're about it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's really good. I would recommend it. Yeah, there there's some gems. It, what, is it on Prime Video? Because I wouldn't be fucking surprised. I doubt it it's on Prime Video. <laughs> I, I also watched uh, Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. What? Which is what? just an, a, another amazing, amazing piece of fucking art. Let me tell you, dude. Okay, that sounds incredible. Who's so got their Blendtec blender on right now? What the hell is McNasty doing? It's my cousin. McNasty, no building a shed <laughs> while they're doing the podcast. Well, give me a hammer and a nail and a hammer and a nail. Um, what? So, 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 t please elaborate on Jesus hunting vampires, dude. I, it, I don't even know. It was, <laughs> it, I didn't finish either of these movies That's because I, I, I think they were like why. over an hour long, and I was just once you get to like fifteen, twenty minutes, it's like, okay, nah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Jesus was going around killing vampires, pretty much. And dude, I, I hadn't gathered know. that. From it's, the title. it's it's so bad. Like it, I'm gonna pull up Prime Video right now, and I'm I'm willing to bet there are some amazing movie titles I can find like instantly. I'm actually curious if my if if Gay Inwards is on there. Yeah, now now my like movies that you think they think that I'll like are is is pretty cursed now. Just dog <gasps> ass. No shot. Oh. It's on Prime Video? No, it's not, but it's like a it's like a you know how when you start to search for something and it's like a recommended search. Apparently a lot of people look for this. It shows up underneath the search bar. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a meme. If you look up like Space Movie 1998 or whatever year it is, it's it pops oh, right yeah. up. Yeah, my Twitch chat yeah, always... Yeah, it's one of those like, Google search memes, yeah. Yeah, my Twitch chat always is like, Hey, Soup, look this up. <laughs> gotcha. yeah. yeah. It's like Dinosaur with 500 Teeth type beat. Oh, I forgot about that guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Boy, Lamageddon... Dude, I actually fucking... I, I paid for Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter as well. <laughs> how much Why was that movie? That? Please, tell I, me. I, how much? I, I paid one ninety nine for it. <laughs> Wow, why? I was, just curiosity, bro. Just sometimes you gotta... I love watching, like, shitty films and shows, though. It's fun. Yeah, that's why you watch Survivor watch every Survivor, Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. Okay? Got him. I think we hit a... You sound like me, me with a hot and ready bullshit. <laughs> okay. No, don't, don't, uh... Don't talk shit about my Survivor. I'll fucking kill you. For Survivor you. is I'll dumb fucking and stupid. You. I'll fucking end you. Stupid I'll and fucking dumb. Kill you. Dude, really we also is. have uh, Killer Sofa, which I got to put that on the list to, to watch. Do you? Do you really need to put it on the list, though? Yeah. <laughs> on Why the list do you hate of stupid movies? Why are you such a masochist with movies? Robot Holocaust. <laughs> 
Now, is that the robots killing Jews, or is it a holocaust of the robots? <laughs> See, now I'm curious. See, now robots. I want to watch it. <laughs> Man. You can watch uh, Prime Video shit. You can watch that live on Twitch. Yeah, you can, can watch you? it on stream, yeah. What? I gotta watch these on Yeah, I remember stream, when dude. they added that. I just watched uh, The Grand Tour, which is like a car show. I just watched it and ate sushi. and made like $300 a day they came out. I was just sitting there. Hell the yeah. and then ended stream and it's like terrible God, damn, this stream. Is literally just <laughs> just bro how is anyone homeless just go live true just go live and watch a movie <laughs> here i am in my yeah, cardboard it's... box just got this new box <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a that's that's a joke before anybody i want to watch there, all man. the sharknado movies live i know i think i've said that before Lo- but i i really want to do that i feel like I if there it? was enough alcohol that could be a pretty fun afternoon like, I feel like that could be a good few hour stream. Would they even bother copywriting that if you made like a YouTube videos out of it? <laughs> Dude, honestly, who fucking knows? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there actual actors in the Sharknado movies too? And not even just like meme actors? Wasn't there like a big celebrity in at least one of them? I don't know. I know we talked about the budget before. and I, I Didn't we talk about that? Yeah, I, I think you in mentioned a, in a the podcast. Movie? You Probably. This. I don't honestly I don't know. We like talk about something that I think is completely new to us, and then all our comment section yells at us that we already talked about this nine times now. So Yeah, the budget was two million dollars for the first movie. That's that's <laughs> pretty that's 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 wild, actually. So they probably got some decent actors. <laughs> Apparently David Hasselhoff is in it. Wow, what? He must be down bad for work. <laughs> It's so mm. fucking stupid. He peeked at the SpongeBob movie. Correct, correct, correct. <laughs> That's Why did answer. you say it like that? <laughs> that is my professional it's hassle. Sp- span- SpongeBob. You make my gym shorts peak. What is Robert that? Robert um, rectangle shorts. What? what? Yes, what? Um, nasty. Do you have something to add to the podcast this evening? Ass. Yeah. yeah. Why did you say um like you got something for us and then just? Indeed, hit us with nothing. Um, now that I think about it, ass. All right. What? What? what is yeah. It? What was that? Am I having a stroke? What is happening right now? <laughs> yeah, you can't just... tell if he's trying to like tell us he's in trouble or if he's <laughs> just being himself. He's a gun to his head right now. <laughs> <laughs> ass. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to ask you guys if you had any. You wanted to like, ask us. What was that mean? Yeah, are yeah. you actually like? Are you un- unwell at the moment? Ass. <laughs> All right. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is ass, this? I guess. Ass. I wanted to ask you guys if you had okay. any <laughs> dentist stories. I've Uh-oh. talked about my wisdom tooth on here, right? I do <laughs> not remember. Well, the no chat will way. definitely let us know. <clears throat> No way I haven't talked about it on here. I have well, talked about my lateral incise on here before, right? I'm, You know what? I'll say it again, just because, you know, they're probably as brain dead as us, so they might have... Yeah, well, I'm going to chug water while you're talking, so... I'll wait till you're Go done. Go ahead. I'll wait till you're done. Chug the water. Yeah. I know you can't hear. It's like turning down the radio when you pull up to see an address. No. You need to chug that water. Yeah. Turn chug, up your microphone. Chug, 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 chug. Oh, Are you done? so cold. Okay. Did you guys right, ever get uh, your Yetis that you ordered? But, I mean, you guys, remember we all ordered Yetis together? This is like a white mom camping question. <laughs> yeah, I have a Yeti. Yeah, what the fuck? What are you- I'm talking about a 64 ounce Yeti. I didn't get one yet. Oh, I, I want to hear your about. fucking yeah. story. Right. Yeah, tell I'm me sorry, your fucking wisdom too. Got interrupted time, with the time, least interesting time. question anybody's yes. ever asked. All right. Um, I don't know. It's probably like five years ago. I got it out. But uh, I had to get all four of my wisdom teeth out. <laughs> hey. Listening. I'm my boy. Who's, Mama! Who's, oh, God. All right, I, had to get, I had to get all four of my wisdom teeth out. Two were growing down. And the bottom... Or no, the top two were growing Growing like, down? Yeah, they were growing like where they should grow. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, he's getting in from the top. He's in. Yeah, yeah they were like growing from the top down. But actually, it was bottom up. It, the bottom ones were fine. The top oh. ones were fucked. But, uh... <laughs> so... He he was uh, he was doing the thing, about to put me under and stuff. 
He's like, actually, we don't bother putting people under for wisdom teeth because it's a pretty minor surgery. Yeah. And I was like, okay, whatever. I didn't really question it. I found out after that, like, that's not normal. And pretty much everybody I talk to gets put down and put under, like, asleep for the whole thing. Yeah, I figured um, that was just standard. Is he just like a do it. sadist? So I you was can not. do it. You don't have to be put down. Like, you have the option, but... If they put you down, it goes faster. I yeah, like, well, oh, I really I wish they know that. I really wish they fucking put me down for it because it was a very awful <laughs> experience. I bet. So yeah. He put he, he injected my gums with a little like freezy thing, so you don't feel anything. And I was like, whatever. I don't. I don't know. It didn't bother me. I don't really have a problem with needles or anything. So that part was fine. And then he's cutting out the top ones, and not a big deal. He's just like got to cut into them a little bit. And he's pulling on him while I'm awake. And it was like lifting my head and I could just hear crunching. It was fucking nasty. Ooh, yeah, but that man. wasn't even that wasn't even the bad part. It was the fucking bottoms. He's like, yeah, these these are really stuck in there. So I gotta cut your tooth in half. And Bruh. I gotta pull them out uh half. So he's he's fucking going to town. I am literally swallowing pools of blood. That's like good. just insane amounts of blood because i'm wide awake and this little you know how they got the they always got the little slurpy tube sitting yeah, there really sucky thing, thing. Yep. yeah this bitch is just fucking like looking around the room like doing everything but slurping the blood pouring out of my gums just oh. not getting any of it uh so there was just like blood and spit pooling in the back of my mouth and i was just like choking and he's just sawing at this point like cutting through and i could hear everything and like i couldn't feel pain but i could feel like the vibrations through my whole head and it just felt like disgusting and i could tell mm -hmm. when he hit when he hit like the nerve that's in the tooth i just like it didn't hurt but i could just like feel it, it was just nasty but it, it gets so much worse so he pulls out one half of the one tooth and he's like oh that was actually pretty pretty easy the other half should be fine i was like oh thank fuck because the, the saw surely got to be the worst part He's pulling on it for, like, at least a minute, and it was not coming out. So he has two nurses come in. One's holding my forehead down. The other one's holding <laughs> my jaw open. And he puts his fucking leg up on the table. Oh. Like, like he's, like he's start crank starting a fucking lawnmower. He's got his <laughs> leg up. And he's just yanking on the bottom of my fucking tooth. Like he's fucking pulling out King Arthur's sword or some <laughs> <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> like he had his fucking leg up and I'm just sitting there like, Arr! like not able to fucking do anything. My neck just it was in so much pain from this guy just pulling up on it. And finally, the tooth comes out, rips like a massive fucking hole in my gums when he got it out because it just like cut through like a knife. Oh. Flew out of the pliers, landed on my fucking forehead. Blood is running down my forehead. He's just putting the pliers back and he's like, Oh, I don't see the tooth. And I'm literally just like, Ugh! And it's just straight on my fucking forehead. There's like blood and spit all over my face. And it was just the worst experience ever. I went home. The next like two days, I was just throwing up because of how much blood I swallowed. But seeing him get his leg up while hearing the sound of my <laughs> tooth just like being yeah. crushed it was just That's the most traumatic shit it was disgusting and on top sucks. of that my own tooth landed on my fucking forehead and it was like <laughs> cut in half so it was the flat spot that landed on my forehead from him cutting it so it's just like the inside oh of a tooth god pressed god. against my dome Dream dentist it was fucking disgusting, and I immediately after that day switched dentists, and and that's it. <laughs> Can't imagine Mine I... still ain't came in yet, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh really? I, I just mean, went my... to the dentist a couple weeks ago, and I have to get mine taken out. I my easy ones like... were fine. It literally like, like I could chew with the top, like I don't know, fucking a day and a half, two days later without any pain. But my bottom, there's still like massive holes there. Okay, I can feel if I put my tongue there, there is a fucking gaping hole. Jesus. It is not, yeah, it's not, not ideal. You know what I've never understood about the dentist is why they ask you, like, open-ended questions while they have two hands in your mouth. Like, I'm expected to be able to answer them. Yeah, like, like, what are you doing for next July 4th? And I'm like, ah, 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 ah. I'm like, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my, oh, okay. the dentist I went to is actually really nice about that. She would, like, 
stop what she's doing when she would answer me or like ask me ask me a question. Really? Yeah. Mine doesn't. That's so nice. Yeah, mine just uh. keeps like fingering my uvula. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, am I rude if I don't like moan at them right now? I, I, I remember doing that like as a kid though when I went to the dentist and like yeah they're like, I had a I had a dentist and he was like, he was very Ethiopian like he had a really strong like. How do you did African. he come in and say hi I'm Ethiopian? And How did you know he, he just like <laughs> <laughs> he just had a really strong like Africa. I, I don't know I Brother. it was my it was the dentist my mom up. got for me she said he was Ethiopian so I just believed it I guess. And uh, yeah, he would like racist. He was very, very hard to understand, and he, he would ask you questions like, "You know, I'm like, oh, right, well, <laughs> I don't think he was. I don't think he clicked at you. <laughs> yeah, he didn't click, but I'm just saying, like, that's kind of the, what I go to when I think of it. <laughs> okay. he, you still go to him? Is that the- <laughs> no, 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 I don't know. Oh, damn. It was it because of clicking or because he tried to talk to you? <laughs> he would just like, he would have to ask you the same breaker? thing like eight times because I would just go, huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. And then, balula, balula. I was like, fuck. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, dude. Maybe he understood you better when his hands were like in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a little Helen Keller kind of vibe. Yeah. Just needed to feel you out. That's. Yeah, he should have just fucked my mouth. It was big black fucking African penis. Anyone else fun. have any dentist stories? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I feel like I've told you guys about mine, but I can't remember if I did or not. Fuck it. Uh, I mean, my, you could tell it again. It's okay. My teeth were really fucked as a kid. And, uh, dude, I went through hell, like, getting braces, like, the whole procedure for it. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> fuck. I'm trying to think of, like, how it all kind of started. Uh, I had to... Uh, like get this thing for the roof of my mouth called an expander. Did oh, you guys I had one of those too. <laughs> dude, it, dude that, food used to get stuck on top of dude, it, like noodles and shit. Yes, it was awful, man. It was fucking <laughs> awful. And uh, I had to have it twice. I, I had to have it. They, they took it out and they were like, oh, well, that didn't really go as good as we wanted, so we got to put it back in. And I, like, I was so devastated. Like that, I think that is what really just... I was like, dude, fuck this. Because you lose so much weight because eating, you can't really... Sucks. Yeah, you can't really eat, like, anything that you want to. I mean, you have to eat, no. like, soft like soft food and stuff. Mm-hmm. But, like, I would I would try and eat, like... Like, I would eat school lunches, right? And whenever I was in elementary school, um, we had fucking popcorn chicken. And I was like, dude, fuck this. I'm eating this popcorn chicken. I don't give a fuck. Like, whatever happens, happens. Right. And uh, I'm, I'm sitting there eating this popcorn chicken. And, and food always, dude, you have to be like. <laughs> you have to, to you like, have to, you have to like hiss to get food yeah, out of it. Yeah, you have to like hiss and like, like suck back into your mouth, like get oh. food from, yeah. so you're from just, the top of it. So you're just sitting at the lunch table hissing at people? I thought you were some Pretty reason. much. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Nice. But, uh. It it was really bad because one of these fucking pieces of popcorn chicken, bro. It got <laughs> like the, you know how the middle part it was uh, where you stuck like the little key in and you had to like turn the key yeah, to make it yeah, expand. Yeah. You had to do that like once or twice a day or some shit. What is this contraption? It it's literally hell is expands what it is. your mouth. Like it, it it pushes your teeth farther apart so you can have braces to correct them uh, properly. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's like some primitive fucking torture device. I don't even think they use it anymore, dude. I, th- I think it's not. like um, it was hell. I'm picturing like one of those head cages of, of braces that kids no, used. No, it was with. it was literally just like it was just on the roof of your mouth and like attaches to your molars, I think. And yeah, uh, it literally is just like this big silver thing in your mouth that yeah you put yeah, a key in. It, it's kind of like a shit. fucked retainer almost. Yeah, essentially. But anyway, this piece of popcorn chicken wrapped around like I guess the skin oh. of this chicken wrapped around the fucking part that you put the key into, oh. like the middle metal part, and it was hanging down my throat. <laughs> oh. So just chicken you, skin flapping while you talk. Yeah, and, and it's hanging down my throat. Like the big piece of the popcorn chicken is hanging down my fucking throat. And I'm choking. Like I'm fucking chugging. I'm like, oh, oh, like freaking the fuck out. I'm a, I'm I'm a fucking kid, you know? Like I'm like, holy shit, I'm about to fucking die. <laughs> and I'm like sticking my hand in my mouth like my fingers trying to get this fucking chicken out and i'm like spitting up and uh, there's like shit coming out of my nose and i'm crying oh my god <laughs> yeah and the the teacher's assistant was this old black lady that was sitting directly in front of me just slams her fucking hands on the table she's just like oh my god and she's just watching me she's literally just staring into my soul as i'm like gagging 
and fucking like pulling this chicken and I finally get it dude it was probably like a minute or two of me just like oh, oh. And she just, like and everyone's she just looking at me wa- no one tried to assist you just watching nice no very cool. no I'm surprised I didn't fucking die I actually <laughs> thought I was gonna die uh, it's, <laughs> it's fucked so, that nobody thought hey let's help this kid that's actually dying in front of our eyeballs yeah, and I was horrified to eat anything after that. Like I was like, dude, I'm not eating shit. Like, did you, that. Did you ever sure. uh, did you ever get food stuck on top of it without knowing it was there? Oh, dude, yes. <laughs> I got something stuck up there. It might have been chicken again. <laughs> I don't know what you it was. Probably should have eaten that much chicken. <laughs> but I got something stuck up there and I could not fucking get it out, dude, like for the life of me. <laughs> and I finally <laughs> one day just was like, fuck this. I'm going to suck and I'm gonna fucking suck it until I can get this bitch out of there. Oh, and I, I that thing probably fucking was finally, dude, I finally got it out and I spit it out. It had like digested in my mouth or something, dude. It was like uh, the the like gooeyest, but it was still like a solid almost. It was like a green little fucking cube. <laughs> That's that disgusting. disgusting. How would you yeah, like to dude. be the dentist who has to like remove these from the mouths of kids? Mm. I gotta be the nastiest looking shit. Yeah, and I, oh, I yeah. really, I really hated the, uh, the when they had to get the mold for your mouth. Oh, like when they when they the when they have to. Uh, so what they did for me was they took like it, it looks like a mouthpiece like that you would wear as a football player kind of but bigger because it goes all the way to the back of your, like your teeth. Mm-hmm. And it's supposed to get like a, a mold of your top teeth, right? And, uh, bruh. So they filled this thing up with like this cement kind of stuff, right? Yeah, and they tell you it's supposed to taste like cake or something. And it just yeah. tastes like dog puke on a sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And and he told me, <laughs> he was like, all right, now you're going to do this in the morning. So like, uh, don't eat don't eat anything before you come in. Oh, and no. dude, it, I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna eat some grits, right?" I like grits, so I had grits for breakfast, and I didn't eat that much, but I still ate a little bit. And I have the worst—I can never be gay because I have the worst gag reflexes <laughs> known to man. I can fix that. And <laughs> I thought you were just sliding that in there; it just had no relevance to the story. Because <laughs> dude, I, I gag like a little bitch, like just at. <laughs> and so I was gagging, and he's like shoving this fucking thing in my mouth. It's just full of cement. And I'm puking. I, I start throwing up, and I'm throwing up like chunks of grits. Like there's just grits flying in every direction. <laughs> like above, they're going above this like mold, and it's just flying everywhere. It was so oh. awful. Mm-hmm. Just grits, puke, and cement in my mouth. Mm. Just yeah. an ideal afternoon. Yeah. That is fucking, fucking nasty. Fucking horrible. I had a noodle stuck on top of my uh, expander thing, and I didn't know it was there. And luckily, it was one of my very good friends, so I wasn't too embarrassed. We were literally sitting there having a conversation at school, and I'm talking, and this fucking noodle just flies out of my mouth at mock speed and just lands on the desk in front of both of us. I just sat there staring <laughs> at it. It's like, I did not feel that in my mouth. He's like, yeah, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> just like, I was just so embarrassed. Like, you could not feel it, because it's just like metal. It's just steel against the roof of your mouth, so it's like hard to tell if something like a fucking... It was like, I remember it was Velveeta uh, shells, like those noodles. Mm. And yeah, he was just stuck up there. God knows how long. And it just flew out and just like slapped on the table. Just this like <laughs> wet ass noodle that's been festering in my mouth for days. Yeah, dude, I went through hell with the dentist. And and then like finally after I got my braces on, I had to do like the rubber band shit where oh, you yeah. like attach a rubber Ooh, band I to never, the top I, on I, it. I never got those ones. <laughs> Dude, my, uh, it was awful. My posts, I had Invisalign, but we, we still had to do, like, the, the rubber bands. Those posts would break off. I almost choked to death on those posts, like, three times. Really? <laughs> yeah. They didn't... Whoever, that seems dangerous. Uh, yeah, whoever, like, cemented it to my tooth, like, put it on with, like, Elmer's super glue. It wasn't very good. Or if you're, like, chewing and bite it. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. I'd, like, crack a tooth. I had to... I also... After I did all that, and I finally, like... I guess I was in like the later stage of braces when you're finally about to get them off or whatever. I, I think I I had to wear them for like nine months maybe or a year or something like that. Mm-hmm. That's but a long time. after that, yeah, my teeth were fucked. After that, I had to wear the fucking headgear piece like Jimmy from fucking no Eddie. Way. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How long did you have to wear that? I had to wear it. I don't think I had to wear that as long. I, I think it might have been like 
six months. Oh, <laughs> that's dude, a long I'd rather time some for head gear. Teeth. Yeah. Yeah. It, and I had to wear it like, so my, my situation was I didn't have to wear it like during the day. Right. I had to okay. wear it when I when I slept. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Oh. Try sleeping with a fucking UFO saucer of metal going around <laughs> your head, dude. And you yeah, couldn't sleep on your I side. Could. Like if you, dude, I would fall asleep on my side, or I'd just do it in the middle of the night, like flip over, and it, dude, it would be the most fucking annoying pain in your mouth because his head and it would like, it'd be like pressing against your fucking head. It was awful. Damn, like boo boo ass. Yeah. Making so when I got my retainer after everything was done, I wore my retainer for probably like two weeks, and I was like, "Listen, I don't Same. give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what happens to my teeth. I am so sick yeah, yeah. of Fair. having shit in my fucking mouth. So my teeth aren't like amazing now, but they're good enough. Yeah. I I really do not like. I'm not going through that shit again, dude. Fuck all of that. Yeah, I literally did the same thing. So I didn't have a headgear at any point. I just had the the braces, like the, what are they called? They're not like the big ass braces. They're just like called speed braces or something. I can't remember. They're just like little ones. But uh, after I was done all that, doctor gave me a retainer. I think I literally wore it that night and was like, I'm never doing that again. That hurt. Yeah. yeah. Just, it, it sucked. Just it said, fuck a retainer. Sucked. Yeah. Dentist stuff is not fucking fun. I don't, teeth are so annoying. They're literally just outside bone. Why are they so much work? No good they reason. They do be high And expensive, too. It's very expensive. Yeah, it is. Have you guys ever got a tonsil stone? No. No? What the hell is that? Oh, dude. Whenever I'm sick, I get them. They're the nastiest fucking thing in the world. They're like... They're, they're in your tonsils. So, obviously, like, your tonsils have a bunch of, like, space and shit around them. Um, just, like, they have pores and stuff. And if you're sick, especially bacteria can build up there and then if there's bacteria like food will get stuck and just like dead skin all this sorts of shit and it'll turn into like a hard rock and you can't see them until they get big and i'll notice them when i'm sick like if i've been sick it'll be like a week after getting sick because there's so much bacteria on like your tonsils and shit i'll feel it when i'm swallowing it'll feel like there's like a pebble stuck in my throat and if you open your mouth and look at like where your tonsils are you can see just this little bit of white sticking out and you have to like, like poke it out somehow, and they just smell and taste so fucking bad. I like gag every time. Like that's my least favorite part about being sick, not like having to sit around for a week. Just knowing that I will probably get a tonsil stone is just the worst part. They are. So what do you have to do to get rid of it? You just pull it out. You yourself? Yeah, like you just yoink it out. Or How? like push it you out. Just it's, reach fucking back there. And you have just to pull like it stick something back there, and like you can kind of push on your tonsils, so it'll squeeze out. Like not like a pimple, because you don't like. So you never got your tonsils removed then? No, I should have. Um, I was actually supposed to. Uh, I used to get tonsillitis like four or five times a year at least. Uh, so I was supposed to get them out, but I was in a band at the time. And, like, that was what I was deep into. So I was like, dude, I cannot afford to take, like, you know, months off to recover from tonsil surgery. Like, I just don't want to do that. I want to, you know, be able to play music and do what I'm supposed to do. And uh, so I never got them out. And then, uh, yeah, so I still have them. I don't get tonsil infections that often anymore. But even if I get, like, a bad cold or flu or something, I'll know there's there's going to be a little tonsil stone appearing. And it's just disgusting it smells Fuck. so bad bro hey, shout out to They're anybody like, who eats dinner while they watch this podcast yeah sorry <laughs> this one's a bad podcast to eat dinner too i had I my mean, adenoids removed your what adenoids I, I don't know if they took my my tonsils out uh when they removed those as well but i think it's like a like a standard thing where if they remove your adenoids or whatever it is they remove your tonsils as well where where I are don't the even adenoids, know what an adenoids located yeah. so like uh, I had to look it up because I don't fucking remember. It's I guess it's like, uh, like kind of where your mouth and nose like connect back there. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of close sinus to system? your. Yeah, kind of close to your your uh, tonsils, I believe. But huh. uh, yeah, I mean that that <coughs> the process of that wasn't that bad. The, the weird thing about that was uh, I had to put like this tube, like this fucking mask on my head that I had to. I had to put myself to sleep. 
during this uh, surgery. Yeah, I had to. Why didn't they do it? <laughs> well, yeah. I, I don't know. It was fucking just weird. Punch right? yourself in the head till you pass out. <laughs> yeah, for real. I had Here's so a they brick. put this Start long. Banging. They put this long tube on my face, like over my mouth and nose, and they were like, "Okay, so what you got to do is pop this balloon at the end of this tube or some what? shit." So I had to like, they were like, you got to breathe in and push really hard to pop this balloon. And I couldn't fucking do it. What the fuck? Like it, it took so long. Like I was like, <gasps> like just doing something like that. And I finally popped the balloon and I, you're just out and like instantly. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I was really so sore and I was pissed, dude. Buy these balloons. This sounds tight. I, I was fucking pissed because I, I told the doctor, I was like, I want to see what this shit looks like that you're pulling out of me. You know, before you like throw it away or whatever, you're gonna sell it on the fucking black market. I want to see it <laughs> yeah. before you do all that. And it, I never got to see it. He threw it away. What? And that that was like the first thing that I asked for when I woke up. And there was like some nurse in there when I woke up. And I, there was like an IV in my arm that was like fucking duct tape to my arm. Mm, that's and the worst. To, medical and tape. Could, it feels so ass. I hate that yeah. feeling. Yeah, she was like, and I could tell she was kind of a new nurse just by the way that she just fucking ripped this tape off oh. my arm. Yeah, and... Uh, those sh- those bitches are so long, too. You ever watch them pull an IV out of your arm? Dude, yeah, it's she couldn't get it wild. out. She oh, could no. not get it out of my arm. That's and so she's fucking yanking on this IV, dude, for a minute, and I am just, like, <laughs> fucking gripping the bed in pain, like, fucking screeching. And, yeah, it was fucking awful, dude. That's brutal. <laughs> Dude, the first time I went to, like, give blood, uh, like, all, me and my old bandmates were hanging out, and we're just, like, trying to figure out what the fuck to do. He's like, let's go give blood, which I don't know why he landed on, but I was like, all right, I give guess that's a good thing to do. Let's boys. do it. Yo. Um, there was obviously a nurse who, like, had no idea what the fuck she was doing, like, probably just volunteering, so, you know, good for her. But, bro, it took her, like, five times to find my vein. She just kept stabbing my fucking forearm over and over. And she's like, she'd put it in and be like, okay, we're ready. And then you'd like see, you know, when they push the tube down, you're supposed to start seeing blood like fly in. There'd just be like a little tiny trickle. It's like, oh, that's not right. We must, we must have missed it or got the wrong vein. Literally like three times she did that. And it, it, I looked like a heroin addict. (laughs) There's just these trail marks up my arm. And then she finally got it, which is weird. Cause like I have pretty pronounced forearm veins. Like I could have probably found it right away so yeah. it's just like what are you doing like where are where are you putting this every time i don't know if me she just had parkinson's every, every time i i have had to have my blood drawn the the um what was the name what's the name for the person who draws blood there's a name for their a blood getter a blood draw lady. man dude they get so horny over my left arm every damn time <laughs> <laughs> look at your veins on this one <laughs> hey, easy <laughs> Just put like nine needles in you just to flex that they found them all. <laughs> yeah. It gets old. Yeah. That's I just realized sick. something. Is McNasty even here? I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't I cut off your... What's, what's I'm just going listening. on, buddy? I'm just letting you guys talk. I'm just listening. You're just like a podcast viewer today? Just RP as a <laughs> as a goons podcast <laughs> yeah, listener? You don't have any weird dentist or doctor stories or anything? Nah, I really haven't gone to the dentist or doctor very much. My doctor? Doctor. doctor. <laughs> dentist or doctor in my house. life very much. I don't know. Really? I never go to the doctor. It's just like a really normal experience. Well, you had all your heart, heart palpitation shit. Has anything happened with that? No. He just told me Called I was... Called him a pussy. Had anxiety. It's just calm down is all he said. Calm down. It's no big deal. Your hmm. heart's just failing. It's not a big deal. Move on. <laughs> I had this weird thing with my heart. Uh, it, it's like... Fuck, what's the name of it? it? It's something where like I would always have to go get a physical like, before you... like played any kind of sport you would have to get a physical you know so you wouldn't yeah. fucking die while you were playing and uh the doctor one time noticed like a weird like clicking sound because uh yeah like something about one of the Cam valves not working. yeah something about the one of the valves in my heart is like attached to another one so it makes like a sound or whatever. <laughs> just like a little kissy sound Mm-hmm. That's, something like that that's probably not good yeah, it, well, it it it's not anything bad, but like it's not something that's ideal, I guess. But it's not. <laughs> it doesn't sound not, super ideal. It's like somebody welded two parts of your heart together. Yeah, well, it's not anything that like affects like physical activity. Like 
It's just like uh, I guess some fucked mutation, but it, it's not like anything bad. So yeah, I haven't huh. had to worry about it. That's good. Yeah, hard and shit's I, always I was scary. still, yeah, I was still like good. Like I passed my physical and everything, and I'm still good to go with whatever I want to do. Hell yeah. But uh, it scared my parents really bad. <laughs> I mean, hard shit is fucking scary. Like, Which I loved. I fucking yeah. loved it. Oh, you're you're that's, loving that. Yeah, that's how I got. Like I convinced them to like get me Xbox Live. Like, what? I mean, oh, come on, I might die shit. in two years. My art's yeah. not working. Please I'm give like, me Xbox Mom, Live. Mom and Dad, please. I'm gonna die soon. I, okay. My dying wish is to play Xbox Live. <laughs> and I got a fucking year membership, baby. Oh hell yeah! All mm -hmm. for heart failure. Let's, Let's go. go, dude. Just a little bit of there's a life hack with the goons. Just have heart failure. <laughs> And your mom or dad will get you Xbox Live one year membership. I was so fucking happy, dude. They don't even realize like heart problem was was not even bad, but they ruined my life by letting me get Xbox Live. <laughs> <laughs> I would say ruined. Yeah, now yeah, you're just they, a they, very it's successful all their man on the internet. <laughs> it's all their fault. <laughs> Makes absurd wealth playing video games. Really Damn. ruined you, huh? Your origin story is heart <laughs> failure. That's wild. Yeah, well, it's not cool. heart failure. Literally, nothing's wrong with my fucking heart. It's just, it's just like two valves are uh, connected or something. It sounds cooler this way. Mm. <clears throat> it does. Yeah, I'll probably die of some sort of heart failure at a at a relatively young age. Both my grandparents uh, died of of heart attacks, Ooh. and my dad has heart issues. But to be fair, they were all like not massively obese, but definitely like didn't take care of themselves, like. Yeah. Absolutely zero cardio cardiovascular system <laughs> anything. You know what's wild like about that? Nothing. It's like even if you have a heart attack, if you do cardio normally, it can help you survive it because your blood is able yeah. to like pull blood back more because it's actually Yeah, it knows stronger. what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Cardio is so important. Everybody fucking do cardio. Yeah. Well, they also like smoked a fuck ton of cigarettes and like drank whiskey like water, so I imagine that probably didn't help them. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I don't know. That's that's heart is something I'm very cautious of because of that. I try to try to take care of that. Yep, heart muscle, most important muscle, for sure. Yes, also, brain muscle, oh, penis, the brain muscle, penis muscle. And I mean, isn't your penis not really a muscle? Isn't it kind of just cartilage that gets cartilagey after you're all muscle. chubbed up? You can break your penis, and they I replace know that. It, yeah. they they replace it with like a platypus bone or something. What? Really? I kind of want to break my penis just so I can say I have a platypus bone in me. Then you actually get a bone? <laughs> yeah, it's wait, something that's that they replace it with. They replace an actual I, think it, I, I think it's from an animal, too. Wow. Really? Bro, imagine being the platypus that just gets deboned live so some guy can have a penis. <laughs> I, I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I heard nah, from somebody that... Nothing we ever say in here is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You've actually never been wrong, so yeah. I'm curious. Do we have any like doctors or dentists that listen no. to this? Surely we do. Surely there's if so, at least one or two out there. If so, how you put up with this? <laughs> <laughs> They're probably shaking their head pissed off, punching just, air right now about how many things are getting wrong. The, the platypus. Patients. Penis. The platypus. The, the penis. Penis works, I suppose. The platypus. The platypanini. The paninus. Phlebotomist. I'm having a stroke. That's what the blood man's called. I just remember. Lobotomist? Phlebotomist. Oh, I thought you said lobotomist. Like, this is somebody who just gives yeah, lobotomy. Yeah, if you got a lobotomy, that would explain a lot about <laughs> you, there's a There's a 50-year-old dude who has a lobotomy. He's, like, the youngest person that has ever gotten one. And he, like, just drives a bus in California and, like, doesn't really have any ill effects from it. He just got an ice pick to the brain and called it a day. What a chat. What a weird time in in human history. Yeah, oh, you have a well, that, migraine? Was, that was like a drill that was like a fucking Wait, what were you saying, dude? Oh, I was just saying, yeah, people have a migraine. Let's just drill a hole in their head to let the demons. Well, yeah, that's like, what they used literally. to do. Yeah. That's what they fucking used to do like anything, dude, the people back in the day used to literally bleed you. Like if you got sick, <laughs> yeah. it was like, yeah. "Oh, we're going to cut your arm and we're going to bleed the sickness." You're going to have out a blue you. jay peck your forehead. It's literally like witch doctor like deep Africa voodoo magic shit that we used to do like as the norm. Well, the yeah. Egyptians were onto some shit because they they uh, came up with like uh, embalming and stuff like that. Oh yeah, true. yeah. Like but pulling I, pulling, pulling fucking people's organs out of their nose and shit. Yeah, I just love the like logic behind all the lobotomies back in the day. It literally, was for anything. It was like your dog has AIDS. 
lobotomy. You're gay, <laughs> lobotomy. Oh, for sure. That one. Schizophrenia, lobotomy. Like anything, just lobotomy. I have a fever. Well, let's stick a fucking ice pick in your brain. Yeah. I have a slight cold. Turn me into a vegetable, please. <laughs> it's really odd because, like, it did actually fix some people, but it was like, it seemed like it was like a roulette of it actually helped somebody or just turned them into an NPC. Like, I know there was, uh, I can't with remember who. Was... With who? I don't, fucking back in like medieval times, I'm not letting any fucker poke my brain. No, bro, a... this was literally like <laughs> lobotomies are not that old. Like, there, there's people still alive really? that have had lobotomies. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, it's fucked. Like, like I was saying, one's like 50 years old and lives in LA and just drives a bus for a full time job. Um, but, uh, yeah, there was like I, f- I think it was schizophrenia that the guy had, um, but he had like very severe bad schizophrenia, and he got a lobotomy, and it actually just f- fixed him, and like nothing else ill came from it. Like he was just fine. Jesus Christ! Wow. Yeah, it's fucking wild. But it was like it was like shooting a shotgun into a crowd and hoping you hit a bad guy. Like the odds of it just yeah, I was gonna say that's... were just so low. He may be the only successful lobotomy ever to ever happen. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh my. god. God, dude, I'm looking at they. They literally stick it through like your eyelid. Oh! Yeah, and you can get like a dub. You can get oh! yeah. It's it's the little like uh-uh. the little pink spot in your eyeball. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. That made bro. me physically cringe. Ugh. Yeah. Jesus. You could get a double one too. So like they do it through both eyes. That's good. That's good. So glad that's a service offered. Well, not anymore. They took all the fun away. Ah, cringe. Yeah, and that's God, that's saying. awful. Pretty, pretty cringe that they don't stick ice picks, and it's not actually ice picks. But you know, I mean, you know, this is they uh, look like ice picks. They literally just sticks. What is the craziest? I am so surgeries? glad that I that I am born in this time period of human existence, dude. Well, that's the that's the that's the cool thing though is like in in uh, like fucking whatever two hundred years they're gonna look back at us how we like. Like, there's going to be a day yeah. where they look at something like chemotherapy as just the most barbaric way yep, to solve sure. anything. Because it really is. Like, it's literally just, you're killing the body and hope that the cancer dies first. I guess it's basically like a modern lobotomy in a way. We're just kind of shooting in the dark. It's like, this is all we have, right? So Yeah, literally just like, this might kill them, or this might cure their cancer, or yeah. at least put it in remission or whatever. True. So mm, it's like, well, my opinion on that is that I, I feel like that's a lot of just big business holding on to... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Where, no, where it's like, fuck the human life, we can make a lot of money out yeah. of this. Yeah, oh, yeah. without yeah. being that's, too that's... too much of a tinfoil hat, I, I will never give to cancer research. And my mom, who has had cancer, has been like, yeah, the fact that they're, they're straight up saying they cannot figure out how to cure that, like, that's gotta be... There's something not right there, but... Cap. There's probably yeah, some, like, leaf you can eat that all of the Freemasons have that can cure cancer in their living. Yeah, it's forever. called Mary Jane, baby. Hey, you see, yeah, there's, yeah, a, yeah. there's a conspiracy right now that Putin has late-stage cancer. Yeah, yeah. He people are saying he's like Parkinson's or some some disease. I thought he had, uh, I thought he had like, doo-doo AIDS or something. No, he might have doo-doo AIDS, but there's, like... Doo-doo balls. Yeah, he, like, lost a bunch of weight, and he's literally... There was uh, a clip of him sitting there talking, and he's literally, like holding on to the desk for yeah. dear life to not like pass out yeah for like a 45 like minute conversation at a death grip on yeah it the whole just time. white knuckled yeah. that's how i am during this whole podcast <laughs> <laughs> i looked up some uh some fucked medical treatments in the middle ages i can share them with you guys yes please i would like that uh so eye surgery Mm. Uh, during the early days of the Middle Ages, surgeons used a process called needling to perform cataract surgery. They got a thick, flat needle. A doctor would push the edge of the person's cornea with no anesthetics at all. Uh, they'd get a cup of bitter red wine. <laughs> uh, what was the idea? What did, why did they do it's this? It's like World War II fucking medics, dude. They're just like sitting there Whatever. sawing your leg off because you got a bullet in it. And they're just like dumping whiskey down your throat. Yeah, like, and he's like just... he's like a brick. Bite on this while I saw your leg off, pretty much. Here, drink this gallon of whiskey while I saw your leg off, buddy. You'll be fine. <laughs> You're gonna make it. <laughs> so apparently, it was like they did this to to put back the lowest part of the eye. I don't really understand how the lie eye works, but yeah, they would just jam it in there and push back the eye. I don't really know. Apparently, uh... it didn't work very well. It looked like a camera with no lens, so you could yeah, read, like, needling. big I, I want to get some. I want to get some needling done to my eyeball. Bloodletting. I knew that one. What the fuck is trepanning? There's a giant hole in this man's forehead. 
I've I've thought about getting LASIK because I wear contacts and I mean I don't really should. I don't really mind. It's come a long way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I don't mind wearing contacts. The only thing I'm worried about is like, um, you know, over time your vision gets worse. So right. yeah, and the more contacts I, I just, and glasses you wear, the worse it gets. It's like a spiral yeah. effect. I, I feel like I'm gonna get LASIK and then in a few years I'm just gonna have to wear contacts and shit again. So uh, that's kind of why on. I haven't done it. Hey, a buddy of mine this had one, like 420 vision, so he had to like read with a piece of paper up to his nose, and he got it, and he's got 2020. It went perfect for him. So. Yeah, it, it can last a lifetime. It doesn't yeah. technically have to degenerate. Yeah, I'm probably going to have that done soon, actually. I've been thinking about it lately. Hold on. I want to read what this one is. Trepanning? Is that how you pronounce that? I don't know. It's a surgical process that involves drilling or boring a hole into the human skull. Good. This hole exposes dura matter an outer membrane of the brain, which physicians use to treat an array of different health problems in the Middle Ages. So if you had epilepsy, they would bore a hole into your brain. Migra- this actually might be where the idea of lobotomies came from, because they literally put it in the same spot where lobotomy would be. Like, hold on, can I copy the image? Look at this fucking person's skull. I don't want just to. A, oh, okay. Just That's a giant oh my God. Whoa, That's fucking huge. hole. It's just another eye socket. Literally, it's like what Elon Musk open. wants it, to do it, with uh, Neuralink. Yeah, third eye has been opened on that man. It looks like a, uh, a hive <laughs> from fucking Destiny. Apparently, every single person known to get the surgery died because commonly exposed brain to airborne germs. No chance that happened. So you what you go you from ep- why would you even what need to cure? Why would you need to cure epilepsy in the Middle Ages? You're not going to a fucking rave. Why would you want an open brain surgery in the Middle Ages to cure epilepsy? How do you even find That's, out you have epilepsy? Dude, imagine you're just walking down the road, you see some guy with fucking a part of his brain just exposed from his head. Just like Like, what is the you. life expectancy after that? No, oh, actually, I, just, I saw a very fucked, very, very fucked thing on, uh, I forget what, what subreddit it was. I don't know, I, I'm in a bunch of fucked subreddits. But this, like, crackhead lady... Uh, uh, we did, we did, we couldn't figure out the exact lore, um, but it seemed like she either fell or something like that or got shot or something. Something exposed her brain and she was on so much drugs that she just didn't care about it and would just ignore it and do more drugs if it hurt. Cause you know, if you're just in this pure state of euphoria, you, you don't feel anything and the brain itself doesn't have any nerves. So you can't tell if there's actually something happening to the brain, but, uh, the flesh just became like rotting. But what stopped it from completely rotting and killing her is that maggots started growing in it. Oh, so they were eating. Yeah, baby. The maggots were eating the, the flesh that was rotting to keep healthy flesh around. So maggots actually saved her life. But somebody called an ambulance or whatever after seeing her on the side of the road thinking that she was just like dead. But she was just like napping, you know, like homeless people do. And yeah, they brought her in and just like her brain is just straight up exposed and like rotting and there's like juice coming out. It was so fucked. But like this person was fully like alive and aware of what was happening. Just like, and, and what do they do to like fix that now? It was they like probably, a skin graph or something. I imagine they would probably just like cut off all the fucked skin, cut off the part of the brain that's bad. And then just, yeah, they'd have to like probably put like a titanium skull cover cause the skull was gone. Or something. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But I'd imagine they'd probably just get rid of the bad skin the best they can. and Whatever brain functions they can save on this human being. I mean, I'm sure the drugs rotted whatever the actual not much there to eat. save. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm sure this person was just fucked regardless. But yeah, it's just insane. <laughs> Fuck just me. Wild. It was, uh, it was not something I wanted to see like when I first woke up. It was when I like scrolled through Reddit and it was just like... Ugh. Yeah. But it's like a car crash. You just can't look away when you see something like that. When you just see somebody's brain exposed, you're just like, what's going on here? What's the lore? Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, I used to do this video series where I would um, take song requests on PlayStation Network. Um, oh, I remember that. that. And uh, people would send me, because I never obviously put this in the video, but a lot of the stuff people sent me was just absolute, just the goriest shit you've ever seen in your life. And there was this... Over PlayStation? Over PlayStation, Yeah. How? How do they even have that file on their PlayStation? You got me, man. Like, who I don't just know. keeps a who just keeps a beheading on their PS4 in the family uh, living room? That's about what it was. It was the, it was this girl, this young girl who apparently this was like some famous accident, like the terrible car accident of so and so is like the the headline or whatever. And it was this girl who was driving her like rich dad's convertible, and she like went under oh, uh, no. like a truck or something, and it just like exploded her head from like the shoulders up. 
And this just full Ugh. detail, just like meat flaps, just laying down on her chest and shoulders, no head whatsoever. And I just couldn't look away from Ugh. it. I'm just like, oh my God. That's like Bro, one of those like, things you can't unsee. Like you'll always remember. Back when I used to use 4chan, like before it was, you know, what the 4chan is now. There'd just be once in a while where there'd just be a gore thread. And you're just like, some things are so extreme that you don't even like... If I watch somebody break their leg, like on YouTube, just skateboarding, I cringe. I'm like, oh, that's fucking nasty. Yeah. Like that's, you know, you just, you imagine it. But when it's something so extreme, like some hostage's head being blown off with a shotgun, it just, it literally looks like it's out of a Michael Bay movie. And you're just like, that's <laughs> yeah. not real. Like you just disconnect from what's actually happening and are just like, nah, like that's so extreme. There's this like, humans were never meant to see that <laughs> right yeah. Like, yeah we just can't even process some of that shit it's just wild yeah, you know, being on the, threads were wild being on on the internet it like desensitizes you to a lot of shit but i, I will say i've watched the new jackass movie and <laughs> dude something that really fucking bothered me was when they they took this dude's dick uh. <laughs> and they got like these two i guess it was like plastic or glass like things that were shaped kind of like a, a ping pong paddle and they they fucking locked his full dick into this like glass paddle mm. and he was using it as like a oh like, i've seen that dude yeah fuck that oh. shit was awful dude like that that it made my dick retract <laughs> i got i got pussy after that it put it put the fucking dick. snake back in the hole buddy uncharmed the snake that's gross <laughs> yeah the snake was not charmed my friend <laughs> wow <laughs> fucked all right uh do we want to end it on a dick being squished i'm down absolutely Ooh, good all podcast right. mcnasty any objections you're all right what's going on i'm good i'm just i'm just listening all right cool <laughs> all so right. i fuck with it soup do the outro all right thank you guys for hanging out and listening uh if you're listening on youtube be sure to leave a like a comment and subscribe to the channel use code goons on oh, g sucks yeah. we have a brand code goons yeah goon geek game we have a brand well we <laughs> deal we do we kind code of goons. have a brand code goons, code goons. Code goons. get you some g sups use code it's goons. good for the brain yeah and uh, if you're on Spotify, please download the podcast. We we are still at war with Coco Melon. I don't know if we've passed them or not, but Coco Melon can eat shit and only die. Only you wanna... can stop Coco Melon. Come on. I want to snap their necks and drink their blood, and the only way to do that is by downloading on Spotify. <laughs> so you can make that happen. So yeah, thank you guys for hanging out and listening. Okay. Goodbye. Bye.